There were several great blue herons and roseate spoonbills right outside Jim's vacation home. Jim realizes that if five roseate spoonbills fly away, only seven-eighteenths of the remaining birds will be roseate spoonbills. And if six great blue herons fly away, five-seventeenths of the remaining birds will be great blue herons. How many birds, this includes both herons and spoonbills, are outside Jim's home? I'm going to solve this problem algebraically and I will try to use one variable. If you want to try to solve the problem on your own, please feel free to do so. You want to pause the video right now and try the problem on your own. What I have here is the question in smaller font right here. We are going to refer to it. And since the question wants me to find the total number of birds I assumed that there were X birds all together. Okay? And you also have to understand one of the things that the birds are not, nothing is really flying away. The spoonbills, the question says if five spoonbills fly away, then something will happen. And if six great blue herons fly away, then something will happen. The birds actually don't fly away. So let's say there are X birds all together, and this X includes the roseate spoonbills and the great blue herons. So now what I'm interested in is I would like to know the total number of roseate spoonbills present on this property. How do I get to that? And one way to get to that is by using this statement. Jim realizes if five of the spoonbills fly away, only seven-eighteenths of the remaining birds will be roseate spoonbills. Let's use the statement to derive this expression. So we are claiming if there are X birds altogether, if five of the spoonbills fly away, there will be x minus 5 birds altogether. x minus 5 birds will be the total number of birds left behind if 5 of the spoonbills fly away. The question says 7 eighteenths of that will be what is left after the spoonbills fly away. So 7 eighteenths of the total number of le birds left behind would be the total number of spoonbills left behind. Once again, this is, let's use a different color, and you really want to get that. This is the total number of spoonbills that are left behind if five of them flew away. Why is it so? Because if five spoonbills fly away, x minus 5 will be the total number of birds that are left behind. And the question says 7 eighteenths of that is the total number of spoonbills that are left behind. How do I find the total number of spoonbills? I add the five spoonbills back. So these are the five birds, five spoonbills actually, to be more specific, that flew away. And what you see in green is the five spoonbills that flew away. What you see in red is the total number of spoonbills that were left behind. And x minus 5 is the total number of birds that were left behind when the spoonbills flew away. And this comes from the underlined blue part of the question. You absolutely have to get this. There is no way around it. If you don't get this, you won't be able to solve the problem. We're going to do something very similar to find the total number of herons on his property. And what does that really mean, or how do we do that? What we have to do is focus on this statement. If six great blue herons fly away, and no roseate spoonbills fly away, that's implied and highlighted. 5 seventeenths of the remaining birds will be great blue herons. 
What does that mean? Well, if you have x birds all together, 6 of the herons are flying away. x minus 6 should be the total number of birds that are left behind. And 5 seventeenths of that will be the total number of herons that are left behind. This is the total number of herons that are left behind. And this is the total number of herons that flew away. And if you add them up, that gives you the total number of herons on his property. Once again, x minus 6 is the total number of birds that are left behind when 6 of the herons fly away. And 5 seventeenths of that is the total number of herons that are left behind. How do I know that? Because the question says that right here, underlined in blue. So if the blue box shows the total number of herons that are left behind, and the green box shows the total number, total number of herons that flew away, if you add them up, that'll give you this red box will give you the total number of herons on the property, which is 5 times x minus 6 divided by 17 plus 6. Once again, you have to get how these two expressions have been derived from the question. These are very crucial. If you don't get that, you won't understand the problem at all. This, how did we get this from the question? And how did we get this from the question? Okay, and we're going to underline it. The red box follows from this line. And the blue box follows from this line. So pause and reflect and understand. Once you have these two, you can just say this, the, the expression in the red box plus the expression in the blue box should add up to x because that's the total number of birds. And then you'll have your equation. From the previous slide, I grab this is the total number of roseate spoon I'm sorry, total number of roseate spoon bills on its property, and this is the total number of great blue herons on his property. And if you add the herons, total number of herons, total number of spoonbills, you should get the total number of birds. That's where the equation is coming from. It looks like a complicated equation, but it's really not that complicated. It has one variable. And we'll see if we can solve this equation. So on the next slide, I'm going to just do the algebra and try to find the value of x. Once I get the value of x, I have the answer. So what I have here is the equation from the previous slide. And I'm going to solve this equation. You know how to solve this equation. Solve it your way. And solve, we are solving for x. I will solve it my way. And I will explain each step. So what I did here, the next line, 7 times x minus 5 is 7x minus 35. 5 times x minus 3 is 5x minus 30. And the next, in the next line, I added 5 and 6 and got 11. Didn't change much. Now, I don't like the denominators 18 and 17. So I want to eliminate them. In order to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 306. 306 is simply the product of 18 and 17. 18 times 17 is equal to 306. That's where 3 or 6 is coming from. So when I do that, 18 and 3 or 6, 18 goes into 3 or 6 17 times. So basically, what you have here is 17, ti 17 times 7x minus 35. 17 goes into 3 or 6 18 times. So eight, you have here, you have 18 times 5x minus 30. And 3 or 6 times 11 is 3,366 and 306x is 306x. Now, when you distribute 17 over 7x minus 35, you get this. When you distribute 18 over 5x minus 30, you get this. And you have your 3,366 and 306x right here. What I did here, 
119x plus 90 is 209x and 3366 minus 540 minus 595 turns out to be 2231 and I still have my 306x here so what I now did I subtracted 209x from both sides and that gives me 97x is equal to 2231 to find the value of x I divided both sides by 97 and x turns out to be 23 so there were 23 birds altogether. Now you can go back to one of the previous slides and find the number of herons and number of spoonbills that he had but the question doesn't want me to find it so my answer is this 23. There were 23 birds altogether.